<coughs> okay, hi. So this is kind of where we were. I've been fiddling with it until I turn the camera or the video on. And um, I don't specialize in explaining why the software doesn't work the way you want. I only specialize in how to how to fix the things and, and get what you want. So I've been fiddling with this, and I, I figured out a workable solution. And uh, so let's take a look at... I'm going to do a cross-section camera back clipped through the stairway from this way. A back clip allows you to just look from where you left clicked until where you where you release the mouse. If you're not familiar with that camera, it's quite useful sometimes. So there's our wall in the silhouette with the stairs. And of course, the first thing I tried, <clears throat> clicked on this wall, hit the tab key, so I get just the wall. And I tried different settings under Newells and Balusters. You had it set at 36. I changed it to 42. I tried changing it to, like, uh, different values to see what would happen. <clears throat> and that wasn't a solution. I was thinking maybe I could just raise it up. But see, it just raises the whole stupid thing up. It, it's making a value between the stair and uh, the t whatever you set that value to here. I think you had it at 36 originally. Of course, that didn't solve the glitch, and I don't have a I don't have a solution for why it's doing this. You know, this might be something that tech support. Maybe it's a bug. I don't know. But what I figured out as a solution, and you know, looking at it from this silhouette, this doesn't work very good here with this flat because there's not much protection along that way. So let's take a look at that. What I came up with a solution is just click on here, hit the next button or tab key. I'm going to make this not a railing. Go over to the general tab, uncheck railing, click OK. Then we'll get the full height flat wall as a result. Yeah, And this isn't really tall enough here. So I'm going to do the same thing to this uh, curved wall. I mean, well, same thing. I'm going to open the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the wall dialog box and pull this curved wall up until it's kind of fairly close with the, uh, you know, like that. And click here, hit the tab key, get, and that gives me the wall polyline. That's what I'm looking at here. This is a move handle here in the center. I'm going to make those equal. <clears throat> now, what I propose to do as a solution, now you'll have to decide for yourself if it's any good. I'm going to go over here to CAD Tools <clears throat> and use the draw and draw a line from there. I'm going to use the control key to get that angle about right. This is something you'll have to carefully work out yourself. I'm just going to I'm just doing a tutorial, so I don't have to be all that exact and careful. And go back to the draw line, draw another line. I use a control key to so I can change the angle. That's just a 2D line and that's there as a reference so I can do this rather neatly. I'm going to click on this wall, the curved wall polyline first and uh, we'll zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to try to make that conform. It, it should snap to the two-dimensional line fairly readily. Raise that up a little bit. <clears throat> now I'm going to click on this wall, hit the tab key, pull it down until it snaps to the line or something relatively close to it. Hang on. And click over here on this curved wall. Well, it's right on the line, but it's in 3D, it's sticking up a little bit. Okay, well, that's close enough for now. I'm going to back up. Okay, we kind of see where I'm going with this. I'm going to click here, hit the tab key, pull this down, let it snap to the line. <clears throat> 
Okay. Now I'm going to go. I hit Control Tab on my keyboard to go back to change windows. That's what I. That's Control Tab, Control Tab. And also, a lot of new users I've seen them use this thing window and then select these. I just like Control Tab. Now let's take a look at this and see how what this looks like. That's quite a bit cleaner. May not be exactly what you're looking for, and we still got that little bump there. But that that can be smoothed out by just with patience. And our trial and error. Let's pull that down a little bit. I don't know why the software does that. It just does that. You move, make a move, and then you have to wait for the video card to update and see what the exact change is. Okay, I missed it a little bit. You get the idea. With, with patience, you could get that fairly smooth. If you want to have a cap rail up here, you can't now convert this to a, a railing because it would go right back to where the way it was, which you didn't. That situation you didn't like. Uh, if you wanted to put a cap rail up here, I think I haven't done this, so uh, but I think what I would do, and see the problem is it's curved. The straight railing, a, a sloped soffit would work fine here, but it wouldn't work on this curved part. And I don't trust the, uh, if we took that and uh, converted it to a railing and uh, a solid railing and so forth. I don't. I think we'd get back, right, right back into the same trouble that we had before. So this is what I recommend to you: is just reshape that. You know, don't make this a a, a railing or a half wall, as you said, <clears throat> and just shape the wall, shape the wall polyline, and uh, drive on. Capping it in Pro, like in, in Chief, I could do it. I can I can create custom objects on the fly, and and I can make curved custom objects and that sort of thing, or a, a molding polyline. But in Pro, you're you're limited in some of the solutions that you can, and you just have to ask the client to say, "Well, just visualize a cap railing." Right there, it's my advice. That's what I came up with for a solution. I. I uh, I'm not going to save that. Now that's just, I haven't worked on this hours and hours, just a few minutes, and, and I, I fiddle around with it, and <clears throat> it just seems to me this is, would be the way to, fi oh, look at there. I didn't, I just now noticed that hole. Let me see if I can fix that. Yeah, okay. There's the wall polyline. That's the part I fixed up there. I didn't realize it was screwed up down here. We'll use the break tool and put a break in this side. I think this will work. <clears throat> and then we'll grab that uh, diamond shape break I put in there and close and it like a surgeon will <laughs> close the wound back up yeah okay wall poly lines are, are pretty malleable but uh, they're also it takes patience to work with them because they have they want to snap to things and uh, they'll shoot up through infinity and <laughs> it's like I said it takes patience to uh, work with them but uh, it does give you a way to control them. I think maybe this isn't perfect, but it's a lot nicer looking than it was. And uh, like I say, I specialize in uh, solutions, not not explaining to people why the software doesn't work like we'd like it to. I just I know how it does work, and I know how to get around uh, some of its some of its quirks. And that's how I would handle this. Now you can set that polyline like I did. Uh, it looks like I've got it a little high, but uh, you get the idea. You could draw the polyline and then snap the wall polyline to it. Hey, it's not. It's not hard to alter. You just left click and drag. <clears throat> but you could carefully lay out your uh, two-dimensional line. Is it? It's just doing it with this cap rail is is not going to work because this is. A, this, you just ran into uh, one of the limitations of the software, and uh, I don't have a solution for that. That's what this is what I recommend to you. Thank you.